What is going on guys? Dawn checking in. Welcome to Mint, where we bring nursing to you. So today, we are going to talk about the proper way to wear your gloves and your mask during this COVID-19 pandemic. First up, we're going to talk about gloves. Now, gloves can actually protect you from COVID-19. It prevents your hands from being dirty. The only problem with gloves is that it kind of gives you a sense of false security. What do I mean by that? We have what we call the concept of cross-contamination. Let's say you're out in the public, you're doing your grocery shopping, you're doing essential activities, and then you're touching dirty objects. And then your nose itches. Now your nose is dirty. You're doing your activities, you're touching dirty objects, and then your phone rings. Now this is dirty. And then when you put it in your pocket, now your pocket is dirty. So am I saying that you should not wear gloves out in the public? Of course not. I'm just saying that the best way to prevent COVID-19 when you're out in the public is thorough, meticulous hand washing. If you want to wear gloves out in the public for added sense of security, by all means, go do that. But you have to remember the concept of cross-contamination. With this video, I'm going to tell you the life hack that we've just learned. That is, you only have to use one glove. And let me tell you why. This is your gloved hand. This is your non-gloved hand. Gloved hand is considered to be your dirty hand, while your non-gloved hand is considered to be your clean hand. When you're out in the public, you're doing your grocery shopping, you use your gloved hand, your dirty hand, to get your groceries. Whenever you're pushing your cart, this one's in the handle. Probably use your elbow to push the cart. And when your phone rings, you use your clean hand. No cross-contamination here. You put it back in your pocket. Whenever you pay for your groceries, clean hand, your credit card, put it in. So that is how you prevent cross-contamination when you're out in the public. One glove. That's all it takes. One glove. It's dirty hand, clean hand. And after that, you take it out, throw it in the trash bin, please. Wash your hands. Simple. Let's talk about masks. There are three kinds of masks that is commonly used during this pandemic. We have the N95 respirator or the N95 mask. We have the surgical mask and we have a cotton mask. Start off with the N95 mask. It is commonly used in the hospital. What it does is that it prevents you from getting anything that is airborne. Take note, according to CDC, COVID-19 is actually droplet precaution. However, if you're doing any aerosolized procedures such as breathing treatment or intubation, then you need this kind of mask. The way you're going to use this is that you have to put this here, put it on top, second strap, right below the ear. And there we go. This is the N95 mask. And the way you're going to remove it is take the bottom strap first, put it up front, Take this away, boom. But my takeaway with this kind of mask is that if you're not a healthcare provider, please, 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 as much as possible, try to avoid this mask. Every person will have a different fit when it comes to N95 masks. This may fit me and protect me from getting anything that is airborne, but this may not work for you. Why? Because in the healthcare settings, we have what we call fit testing. We undergo this procedure wherein we wear a plastic helmet and then they spray us with some sweet stuff when we smell it that means that the mask is not working or if we don't smell it that that means that this is the specific fit for me i fit for my n95 mask may not be your fit all right every person will have their own different fit and another thing to remember for the n95 mask it's really more on it's not me it's you i'm protecting myself from getting anything from you with this kind of mask the next type of mask is what we call the surgical mask. Now, this kind of mask is being used for COVID patients in the healthcare facility who does not undergo any aerosolized procedures. So the major difference between these two masks is that for this mask, it's really more on, it's not me, it's you, preventing myself from getting anything from you than this, it's not you, it's me. I'm preventing myself from giving anything to you. Let's say you're an asymptomatic carrier of COVID-19 or if you have the flu. You wear it, I sneeze, I don't give it to you. That is the difference between the N95 mask and the surgical mask. Lastly, 
is your regular cotton masks. This is what the CDC is recommending for the public to use whenever they do their essential activities outside. Cotton masks primarily works just like this surgical masks, although this is medical gray, that means that um, it has more filtering capabilities. Wear this when you're out in the public, wear this when you're doing your essential activities. You can buy this practically everywhere. People are making these kind of masks. All you have to do is just really look for something that is probably at least two layers of cotton masks, or you have those kind of masks where there's an insert and you can put some filter on it. Those are the different kind of masks the best way to actually face this COVID-19, aside from meticulous hand washing, is for you guys out there to stay home when you're not doing anything essential. Speaking of staying at home, we here in the Magic Nursing team collaborated with our friends in osmosis.org and they developed a song about staying at home. It's pretty cool. Hear for yourself. Just stay home. If you don't gotta go to work, stay home. If you're not a doctor or a nurse, stay home. If you want to take your dog on a walk in the park, maybe that could work. Otherwise, stay home. It's serious. No need for unnecessary purchases. Your necessary purposes. Maybe try avoiding those contaminated surfaces. We know what's working is social distancing. It's this cool, right? Very catchy and very educational. I'm going to leave the link down below. It takes you to the actual video itself and a pledge link. If you're going to share their video to raise awareness, use the hashtag flatten the curve and race line. That is it for today, guys. I hope you guys learned something from that video. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. By doing this, our videos will go straight to you. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys get notified when we upload new videos. Once again, my name is Don Mint, signing out.